this is Jax again. Um, I'm from LaBarque Creek, Missouri, and I'm a saddle fitter in that area. Um, we considered after the saddle fitting video that we should also discuss pads a little bit, because I imagine people have questions about that, given the number of questions I receive about them in general. Um, so a lot of the saddle manufacturers suggest at least a half inch pad to fit your horse. You're going to generally probably end up with a three quarter inch. Um, so I have an example of that here. There's a couple different types you can do. So this one here is what you would call a contour pad. This one happens to be a five star pad. It's just one I pulled out of my truck. Um, what makes it contoured is you can see it has kind of a shape of what your horse would have as far as their back. It's going to follow the contour of their back, hence the name. Another cool thing about it is there's cutouts here, so they're not going to have bulk under your leg or where your cinching is. So I'm going to go ahead and set that on this horse. This pad can be ideal for horses that have moderate or no, moderate or high withers. This particular horse is like, that's not my pad. I don't have withers. <laughs> I've never, never had a pad put on by a short person. I know. It's coming from below. <laughs> so if you set that on here. Some people get fixated on, oh, I need to have that hole right over the wither. So that's not exactly the case. Um, the other thing you want to look for is you don't want to have a pad. Can I, can I move that for you? Thank you. You don't want to have a pad that's long enough to interfere with your horse's hip or the skirt of your saddle, for that matter. Um, some people, I kind of help them eyeball it. It doesn't always work for every horse. Um, the pad being the half shoulder rule, not always accurate, but it can kind of give you a close idea of where you're going with it. Um, the other kind of pad that we have, thank you, is one that's more straight across. This one wouldn't be a contoured, you can see straight as a ruler across. What I like about this one though is there is a space here where your padding is on each side of the spine. I'm going to go ahead and set this one on him. You can see the difference. I know, it's a short person saddling you again, sorry. So, same deal. Again, we don't have anything interfering with the hip. We're about half shoulder. So those are things to consider when you go to the tack store. Another question I get is, so corrective pads, I have the saddle that doesn't fit my horse. Can I buy like a pad to, to make it work instead of getting a new saddle? Well, yes and no, it depends on why it doesn't fit your horse. So in some cases when I fit horses, I know that that horse's job consists of maybe going and riding for an hour once a week, maybe a couple times a week, maybe trail riding on weekends. Whatever horse they're presenting me with, that is how that horse's back is. And in some cases, those horses aren't very fit. They're not going to get muscled up. You have some input on that? You want that job description? It sounds do kind of sweet, it. doesn't it? Once a week and go eat the rest of the time? I'd be on board. Um, anyway, so with that, you may have to look at corrective pads because a lot of these saddles are designed with the average horse body type in mind. They have a couple of tree widths, they have a couple of bar angles they pair with those tree widths to fit the majority of horses. And if you have a horse that's not working and those muscles are atrophied, that's when your corrective pad's going to come into play to tweak the fit. What I tell people is if your boots, you know, you have the cute shoes ex example for women because that's usually who I'm helping. You have the cute shoes. They don't fit quite right. You can kind of tweak it if you wear different socks, but there's only so much you can do. That's what you have to keep in mind with your saddles. If it's too narrow, there, there's not anything you're going to do pad-wise to fix that. If it's too wide and your horse is atrophied, let's say behind the shoulder, or you have an older horse that's sway-backed, we know they're making some changes, that's when your corrective pads come into play. If you have a younger horse that's growing, that's when your corrective pads come into play. It's not a I bought the saddle, it really does not match the, sh the shape of my horse. I want a $100 fix on a pad, and that's just not going to happen. So things to consider for your pads. There's different types. We talked about the contour and then the ones that are straight. And then when you present your horse to the saddle fitter, are they fit right now? Have you been riding them in something that didn't fit that might have caused, at caused atrophy? So these are things that would possibly change your saddle fit down the road and you want to keep that in mind. It's not, okay, I had a saddle fitting once, this horse is good for the rest of his riding career. That's not the case. It's just like your kids. You get them shoes, they grow. You have to keep changing it. Same with your horses. So uh, I enjoyed talking to you today about pads. I've got one thing to, to throw in there, <clears throat> just about pads in general. Mm -hmm. uh, we call them pads and then that gets in everyone's mind that it's padding, uh, as in cushioning, and 
that's not the that's not the job of the pad. It, it's not supposed to cushion. It's to, it's to fill in some contour, and it's one of the main jobs is to keep the horse off the saddle. Uh, mm -hmm. Because keep your stuff clean, keep it from getting destroyed by sweat. Right, because I mean that sweat is caustic. It's mm -hmm. it, it'll ruin your saddles, and so but so many people want want to cushion their horse, mm -hmm. and so consequently they've got they've got a pad like this, which there's nothing wrong with this pad. This is a good pad. I've had it a long time, and I haven't mm -hmm. used it very much because I ride so many young horses mm -hmm. that I don't need a pad this thick because almost everything I, I ride has has low withers and they're mm -hmm. downhill and yeah, they're yeah. youngsters, uh, but it's it's really really thick and so what i see so many people doing is is thinking that they're doing a, a better job um doing a favor to their horse mm -hmm. by putting one of these really thick pads on and cushioning the mm -hmm. horse and, and the fact of the matter is is what you're going to end up doing is anywhere like now that this makes this horse even wider yeah yeah in, in the back so now all of a sudden now i have nothing that fits him Exactly. You know, we went through my saddle house. I only had one saddle that really fit him. Yeah, yeah. And so now I've got nothing that fits him. And so wherever those pressure points are going to be, now it's exacerbated by the fact that I've made it even wider. And yeah. so, so what you do when you put too thick of a pad on, like if we had a proper fitting saddle and you decide, you know, Jack said I needed a half inch or Jack said I needed a three quarter inch, but I really think, you know, Princess needs an inch and a quarter for her back. And that's what I'm going to buy. It's not going to fit the saddle. We fit the saddle to the appropriate matching pad. That's part of the process. It's not just, okay, the saddle and whatever pad you choose it's a for system. this exact reason. It's a system that goes together. Yes. And, and so you can, you're not necessarily doing, doing your horse a favor by putting more pad on. Mm -hmm. and, and the same, you're not necessarily doing anybody a favor by putting less pad on. It, it needs to be a combination that fits Correct. together, like a key and a lock. Exactly. And that's why there's so many options because there's so many different types of horses and there's only X amount of trees out there. Some companies cater towards certain body types of horses or certain jobs, but that's where the pad comes into play to help tweak the fit of a good fitting saddle. I think we've covered all our bases here. I believe so. Stay safe, ride your bikes carefully. Exactly. Keep it between the mayonnaise and the mustard.